The shooting happened at the Climax Lounge in Kansas City, Missouri, early Sunday morning, around 1.25 a.m., just before closing time. The Climax Lounge is a nightclub and restaurant that hosts live performances by musicians and other entertainers. It opened in April 2021 and claims to be the newest addition to the nightlife in Kansas City. According to the Kansas City Police Department, officers found multiple victims of the shooting at the scene. Two of them were pronounced dead at the spot. One was located outside the lounge and the other was inside the business. Three more victims were taken to the hospital, but one of them died shortly after. The other two were injured, with one in critical condition. All of the victims are believed to be adults. The police did not reveal the names of the victims or the suspects. They said they were processing the scene for evidence and speaking to potential witnesses. They did not offer a motive for the shooting or say whether anyone had been arrested. However, on social media, some people identified one of the victims as Jason McConnell, a musician who performed at the Climax Lounge. Friends and fans of McConnell expressed their condolences and grief on his social media page. They described him as a kind and talented person who will be missed. The shooting at the Climax Lounge was one of at least three mass shootings in the U.S. over the weekend. The Gun Violence Archive defines a mass shooting as one in which four or more people are killed or wounded. According to their data, there have been about 230 mass shootings in the U.S. so far this year. This puts the country on track to have its deadliest year in terms of mass shootings in recent memory. The shooting at the Kansas City nightclub left three people dead and two more injured. One of the victims was a musician named Jason McConnell. He was performing on stage when the gunfire erupted. He was hit by multiple bullets and died at the scene. His family and friends are devastated by his loss. They described him as a talented and passionate artist who loved music and life. He had a bright future ahead of him and was working on his first album. He leaves behind a wife and a young son who adored him. The other two victims were patrons of the nightclub who were caught in the crossfire. They have not been identified yet, but authorities are working to notify their next of kin. The two injured people were taken to a nearby hospital with non-life-threatening wounds. They are expected to recover from their injuries. The motive for the shooting is still unknown, but police are investigating the incident as a possible gang-related violence. They are looking for the suspects who fled the scene in a dark-colored SUV. They are asking anyone with information to come forward and help them solve this case.